Ryder, you want to go out and play? Come on, let's go. Come on. Yeah, what are we going to do? Come on. What do you think? You ready? And you know there's one thing I have to do first. I have to put this on you. You gotta put this on your head. You ready? Okay, let me get you. Good boy. Let me sit you here. Okay, you ready? Be good. Let's get this on your head. Okay, I know you hate this part. It's not that big a deal. Come on. <laughs> good boy. Good boy. You're a good boy. Let's get this part on. Just about done. We're just about done. Hold on. Hold on for one more second here. Oops, this is twisted. Let's let's fix this. Okay. Hey, hang on. Oh. You know better than that. Ryder. Sit. Okay, sit. Good boy. Good boy. Yeah. I know this is kind of a hassle. But it's so worth it for you. One more latch. Okay, one more latch. Okay, and then let's get the, the top thing done. Okay, you ready? There you go, good boy. Should have got that toy so I can walk him. Yeah. Okay. Hey, buddy. You having fun? I know. I haven't realized that. Exciting, isn't it? Have you seen a cat walking on a leash? If you haven't, you should take a look around social media. You'll find them everywhere. I've walked some of my cats on a leash before, and it definitely takes the right tempered cat, but lots of people wonder if it's safe for the cat. If you've ever wondered about walking your cat on a leash, then this video is for you. I'm Jessica, the furry family coach, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about walking your cat on a leash. Okay, so many years ago, I had two cats who I took out on a leash a few times. It actually worked out well, but I wish I had prepared better, and that's what this video is all about. First, let's talk about safety. Your cat does need to be up to date on vaccinations, and of course, it's always a good idea to have your cat microchipped. We never want to think about the worst case scenario, but it's better to prepare unnecessarily than to be unprepared. Acclimating your cat to the harness and leash can take some time. The earlier you start them, the easier it will be for them to become used to the harness and leash. But that doesn't mean that your adult cat won't get used to it. They certainly can. Place the harness and leash in the same room with your cat, but don't put them on your cat. Once your cat is comfortable with the new items being in the same room, you can begin to hold them near her and use treats to build a positive association. Don't move faster than your cat is comfortable with. If she freaks out, take a step back and give her space. Eventually, you'll be able to place the harness on her, still using treats to build positive associations. And then attaching the leash will be your next step. Just let your cat become comfortable wearing the harness and leash, all the while giving treats. Use a line of treats to have your cat walk in the leash inside of the house first. Eventually, you'll be able to go to the door, then walk out the door, 
walk down the driveway and down the street. Use lots of love and treats and never try to push your cat farther than they're comfortable with. If your cat takes to the harness and leash, enjoy your time outside and let her roll around in the grass and chase butterflies. If your cat never takes to the harness and leash, that's okay too. You can always bring the outdoors to her inside where she's more comfortable. It's always worth a try. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time at My Furry Family.